Hey, what's up? This is Casey with RampDesignTools.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make extruded shape layers in After Effects. Right after the extruded text tutorial, got a bunch of messages saying, hey, how do I do it with a shape layer? Super easy. It's almost the same thing. So let me show you. I just have a new project here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is make a new comp, and I'm going to make it a good resolution. That looks good. So if you're not familiar with shape layers, they're pretty much really easy. So all you have to do is don't select anything, go up to the pen tool and start clicking, start drawing, and boom, you have a shape layer. You can give it a stroke color if you want. You can bump up the size of the stroke and it's really easy. It's just like drawing with the pen tool in Photoshop or Illustrator. And so that's great, there's my shape layer. Now I'm going to make this a 3D layer. I'm going to switch my renderer again to Ray Trace 3D. And after that loads, I'm going to bring my resolution down to quarter so we can work a little better. And I'm going to twirl down my shape layer, just like I did with the text layer. And I'm going to go to geometry options and start extruding it. And now, W for rotate, and look at that, I have an extruded layer. So now I'm going to add my light, I'll just do a point light, and you know what, I'm going to make it blue, because blue is cool. And I'm just going to move my light to somewhere useful, and bump up the intensity. And just so you can see it a little better, maybe I'm going to extrude this a little more. So there you have it, your extruded shape layer. You can draw at will and make something pretty cool. I also want to show you really quick how you can import an Illustrator file and create a shape layer from that. So I'm just going to open my Rampant logo because it's a logo that's an AI. Import kind is footage, that's fine. Merge layers is fine. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to delete my shape layer for now. So I'm going to bring this down and scale it up a little bit so we can see it. There's my R logo. And this is an Illustrator file and it's important for you to know that you can't extrude an Illustrator file. You have to change it to a shape layer because right now in After Effects CS6 all it can extrude is text layers and shape layers. So I could just trace this out in my own shape layer but that would be dumb, and here's why. Because I can right click on my Illustrator layer and hit Create Shapes from Vector Layer. And all that does is make nice shape layers out of my Illustrator paths. Now I can delete my Illustrator file, and there I have my outlines in shape layers. So that's awesome. Now I can make this into a 3D layer, twirl it down to Geometry Options, and extrude it a bunch. And there's my extruded logo imported from Illustrator. And now it looks awesome in After Effects as an extruded ray trace 3D layer. So that's the basics of it. If you have any questions, leave a comment on the video. I'm Casey Ferris with rampantdesigntools.com. Thanks for watching.